Alright, what is up guys? Today we're here with another Battlefield 1 gameplay and uh, I'm continuing my uh, analyzing series or I guess my uh, support primary series. Um, today the heavy assault rifle or the heavy automatic rifle of the day is the bar. Um, so this is a very interesting weapon because it's considered to be one of the best support primaries in the game. Uh, as a support player from Battlefield 4, I would disagree. Um, the fire rate is good, and it does help you get kills quick, but, uh, for example, in a situation like that, where you're up against multiple enemies, okay, the bar is only good for killing two people at most. Um, you could probably extend that out to three with better accuracy, but with the fire rate, you will probably waste bullets, so it makes it very extremely hard. Um, hard. Uh, basically, uh, it's got a 600 round, uh, round per minute firing rate, which is fantastic. I mean, it competes uh, with a lot of the assault guns and with a lot of the medic weapons. Um, the problem is the 20 round magazine. Okay, when a gun shoots that fast uh, and has a small magazine like that, you're limited to one or two kills before you have to reload. Um, some people can use the bar fantastically, which is all good in that for them. I personally would uh, would give the feel of the bar about an 8 or a 9. Um, it feels pretty good, it handles really well. Um, I'm using the Storm variant, as you can see. And uh, it's just overall a pretty, pretty decent gun. It's a major setback only being the uh, the 20 round magazine. Now you would think, oh, why, uh, why would uh, just the magazine deter you from saying that this gun's, you know, amazing when you have all these other good things to say about it? Well, I'll get, it, I'll get into that real, real soon here. Um, so basically. The reason I called, or I decided to start this heavy automatic rifle series was because I noticed a lot of the uh, so-called LMGs in Battlefield 1 aren't actually classified as light machine guns, okay? Um, and some of the classifying features don't, it doesn't really matter about the rate of fire, because the rate of fire can vary between LMGs, modern and uh, in the past. Um, the, the big thing that classifies a gun as a LMG, a light machine gun, and not really a um, uh, an assault rifle or an Armalite rifle, for those of you who actually know what AR stands for, um, is the caliber size and the magazine capacity, okay? Because anybody can hook up a, a belt feed to uh, an Armalite rifle and have it used like that, and it'll operate fine. Uh, the difference is that light machine guns have a bigger uh, cartridge size, which means that they, of course, do more damage against their target, and um, they have bigger box magazines. Okay, and the reason why this is important is because it remains mobile. It remains as mobile as it possibly can, but still carries a lot of rounds. Um, a bard is technically the uh, first squad assault weapon uh, that's ever been used, and that is because it was light, it had a big, uh, a big bullet, and um, it had a pretty decent rate of fire. The problem was that the 20 round magazine um, basically is the reason why people don't model light machine guns after the bar anymore. As a matter of fact, the bar is the predecessor to the FN Foul. Um, little known fact, uh, they actually decided to put a pistol grip instead of having it like a like a sporting rifle uh, trigger and grip where you hold the front of the stock. Um, they actually put a pistol grip on it and uh, turned it from a fully automatic to semi-automatic holding a similar size cartridge. Um, this entailed the FN valve. So uh, basically it is the predecessor to uh, a semi-automatic rifle and that is why I consider it as such. As a matter of fact, the BAR is an acronym for Browning Automatic Rifle. So not even Browning, the creators considered it to be a machine gun but rather an automatic rifle. Um, 
That being said, in game, it is very, very good to use, but as you can see in that situation, it's only good if you're if you're 1v1 or 1v2. If you're 1v3 or more, you're going to die no matter what you do. And it doesn't matter how many people you kill, how many people you hit, uh, you're gonna lose that gunfight and you might as well add a death unless you're lucky enough to have, or lucky or patient enough to wait for a medic to come by. Um, as you can see right there, it does perform extremely extremely well in close and medium ranges and um, at long range too it's one of the few faster firing um, uh, weapons in the game that actually performs pretty decently across all ranges um, uh, unlike the Parabellum which is only good past a certain range before it requires a bipod um, in which the bar does not have a bipod variant at all so this kind of makes sense um, Frankly, a lot of people use it, and a lot of people disagree with me when they uh, when I say that it's not the best LMG out there, and that's perfectly fine. That's my own subjective opinion. Me personally, if I wanted to use an assault weapon, I would play as assault more often. Okay, so um, you might not have known this about me, but the reason I made I used to play as assault when I first started playing Battlefield 4. Um, the reason was. Uh, because I liked assault rifles. I liked the way how they look, and then I liked the way how they felt, you know, they weren't, they weren't too light, they weren't like SMG mobility, which I didn't really, mobility wasn't a factor, I kind of wanted a mix between mobility, and, um, you know, I, I just liked the look of rifles, I wanted between a, a mobility and, um, stopping power. Um, in games, it really doesn't matter that much, but, uh, the reason I did switch to support was because I found myself in gunfights where I would either have to rely on my teammates, rely on being in a big group, or rely on um, the my opponents not being as intelligent or uh, not outsmarting me, basically a dumber opponent. Um, and the reason for that was is because I simply just did not have enough rounds in a magazine to carry out the uh, specific tasks that I needed it to. 30 rounds is okay if you're gonna go up against one to three people and maybe four people maximum. Um, what I needed was a weapon that wasn't super lumbersome, but mm, so definitely not a sniper rifle because those, even though you can get multi kills with them, uh, penetration kills or collaterals, I guess they're more known as, and um, and uh, they're basically one hit kills in most games. And Battlefield One is a little bit different, but accuracy is rewarded greatly. I wanted, I guess at at this point, I took an accuracy out of out of that because uh, as a player and as a gamer, my uh, thumbstick control. Is um is actually really good if I do to do to say so myself. Um, don't mean to brag or anything, but I have pretty impeccable accuracy. At least I would like to think so. Um, so accuracy wasn't really a factor. So I basically decided to make the logical step from going to an assault rifle to light machine guns, and that's why the bar disturbs me because by definition, by its by definition, it's technically a light machine gun, but if you look at the factors that make this different from other light machine guns in the game, you can't really say it's a light machine gun because it just doesn't it just doesn't fit certain qualifications that a support player would need it to. The and the only reason is because it's got a 20 round magazine, which I know is historically accurate, but it just makes it not as um, not as effective as a weapon as some of the other light machine guns. Um, it does have a pretty decent reload, so the reload's not too long. And uh, but you'll notice, like right there, how I had to pull out the Obra's pistol. This is a light machine gun that you're relying relying on your secondary a lot more than other light machine guns because it shoots faster and you'll empty that 20 round magazine way quicker than you'll empty. Um, the magazine on the Madsen or the Mercy Bonnet. So the big the big issue for me with this is the magazine size because that's the main reason that I switched to support um, was because of the magazine size. I needed more rounds in a magazine because getting caught reloading in a gun in a gunfight is 
was what was getting my, myself killed, so I decided to remove that as a factor. Um, it is still a good weapon if you use it and you can, you know, and you're fantastic with it. That's fine, but I did feel like that the defeat was deserved, um, especially the way that I would like to portray it, because it is a good weapon. But this is a weapon I'd say that you would play for kills only with. It's not a very can't really hold down an objective with it because you'll have to reload after two or three kills, and you can't really attack an objective where there's more than two or three enemies on. Um, that being said, I did mediocre compared to what I can usually do if I was using a light machine gun, perhaps like the Lewis gun, which had more rounds in a magazine. My uh, kills and stats and all that for the game would have been higher, but, you know, so um, that's all for today's video. This is your boy Desecrator, signing off.